August 1st. Mm. Some kids already in school, others about to start. Yeah. yeah I hope they have air conditioning this week. Ugh. I mean, it's going to be a hot, humid week. Most schools do, I think. Here in Indiana, most do. Oh, yeah, when I lived in Connecticut, they oh, didn't. I, yeah, up in Connecticut, probably snowing this time of the year up there. I'm glad I always had AC in Bloomington. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hey, I'll let's show you what happened here during this uh, morning here. And we had some heavy thunderstorms rolling through. There are fast movers, but about a third inch of rain in the Greencastle, Terre Haute, and just over half inch of rainfall down in Bedford. Also, a couple storm reports up around Fishers, a uh, wind gust estimated 70 miles an hour, and also near Fairland down here in Shelby County, a uh, wind gust up to around 60 miles an hour. Good news is most of the intense thunderstorms heading to, into uh, southwest Ohio. Not much going on back here across central Indiana right now, but there is a uh, heavier thunderstorm down across northern Kentucky. Behind it, just some light to moderate rain. And earlier, a couple of cells, Crawfordsville, Greencastle, those have since weekend and fallen apart. So if we get more sunshine peeking through this afternoon, they'll start to uh, bubble up once again. So we'll have to watch out for that. Here's Futurecast. Stop it at noontime. Pretty quiet out there. And then later this afternoon, again, you can see some isolated to widely scattered thunderstorms that will kind of generate across the region. Here it is by 7 o'clock tonight. Roughly from Indy, east and south, we do have a slight risk of severe storms, marginal risk around that. The biggest concern will be some strong, gusty winds again, and also some torrential downpours where and if the storms do get going. Downtown right now, clouds, uh, some breaks out there, 71 degrees, a southwest wind, 11 miles an hour. Temperatures where it's been raining, it's mainly 60s, Bloomington 69, 68 Richmond, 70 Columbus, 71 Indy, Chicago South Bend, 78 degrees, 82 down in Evansville. So we head through this afternoon, again, later this afternoon, chance for a few isolated thunderstorms, noon 75, 2 o'clock 82, by 4 o'clock 87, highs of uh, low 80 South Bend, 86 Chicago, 89 down in Evansville. Here in the city, forecast high of 87, two degrees above average, record 97 set back in 1916. During the evening hours, there could be a spotty thunderstorm early tonight, but that should start to fade out as uh, somewhat drier air does move in. Temperatures by 7 o'clock 83, 11 o'clock 77, and low here tomorrow morning heading down into the upper 60s to right around 70 degrees. Now, I think tomorrow's okay. This model is a little too far north. Southern Indiana on Tuesday may have a few scattered thunderstorms, but I think most areas can expect a dry day. And again, it's going to be a hot, humid day. Highs near 90 here, 84 South Bend, 92 Evansville, 96 back out around St. Louis. And we'll keep Wednesday dry, hot, humid as well. There'll be a gusty southwest wind. Next cold front comes down, and that'll bring us all a pretty good chance of some widespread thunderstorms Wednesday night and during the day on Thursday, too. Ahead of that front, hot, humid, 93 here come Wednesday afternoon, Chicago South Bend, 94. Likewise, Evansville, 93 down in Louisville. Your Peterman Brothers heating and cooling eight-day forecast, a fairly active one for the month of August. Uh, there's that 93 Wednesday. Rain, some thunderstorms on Thursday, 88 degrees. We'll keep in our chance of thunderstorms on Friday. Right now, the weekend drive. This may change, though. Here, I got a feeling we may need to stick in at least a chance of a spotty storm. But for right now, 88 Saturday, 90 Sunday, and then another good chance of thunderstorms on Monday. Monday's high at